be honest, there's not much to talk about, but there are a few conflated and confused things that's going around about the situation. So let's talk about them. Three days ago, me and my family went to Sweetly Season Food Truck. Number one, nobody had any idea we was coming. They found out we was in Dallas like everybody else found out we was in Dallas because we was posting videos in Dallas. So in hopes of us coming, they had t-shirts made and they was on live all day. So me and my family wasn't in cahoots with none of this. We was all under the impression that they were a team and this was a normal routine for them. The barber being there, the braider being there, family being there, a lot of people being there. This is our first time here. We are customers. We have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. Number two, I was never under the impression that haircuts was free. Again, my family was watching the lives. We knew that he was cutting hair for $40. So when we walked up and I said, I want to get $1,000 to the barber to do free haircuts and $1,000 to the braider to braid hair, it was because in the original video, the son said it was slow due to marketing. That's marketing. God willingly, after we post a video, there will be a line out the door. If there's a line out the door and there's a barber and a braider doing hair while people are waiting, that's marketing. So again, it's in a hood. You play some music, you cutting hair, you braiding hair, you're all sitting out, you're having fun. It's a parking lot barbecue. So again, we don't know the behind the scenes if they knew each other, if they didn't know each other. And the reason why I didn't pay everybody individually, the interaction that you see looked longer than what it was. It was really only like a five minute interaction. Within that five minutes, 30 to 40 people pulled up. They was pulling up in droves. That parking lot was getting deep, fast. And for me and my family's safety in general, I don't ever carry cash around. And nine times out of 10, if we tip, we always do it through the POS system. And even if we wanted to do it a different way, Zelle and Apple Pay wasn't an option because it was four or five people at the same time on live. So for safety reasons, they wouldn't be able to say their phone numbers or their personal information out loud. And as far as them taking my phone and putting their number in on Zelle themselves, I wouldn't hand them my personal phone to nobody. So the POS system was the option that made the most sense. I've learned through this journey that sometimes it's deeper than the food, it's deeper than the marketing, it's deeper than the customer service. And this is one of those cases in my opinion. Sweetly Season got a lot to figure out and I thank God in advance that they do figure it out. The last thing I'm gonna touch on is the sun is misconstruing something that I said and I don't appreciate it. After I said out loud in detail what we deemed the money to be used towards, I also said y'all can divvy it out how y'all feel necessary. Meaning after the money hits because it's a POS system, it don't hit the same day. Y'all can send it out through Apple Pay, through Zelle, through Cash App, through Check, through Cash. However, y'all feel necessary to spread it amongst the team. I thought and I still think that that's a very clear statement. But it's being misconstrued, in my opinion, intentionally misconstrued, that I see it and the mom and the son can say who get the money and who don't get the money. <laughs> So Keith Lee did tell her to distribute the money how she felt necessary. I never said that. Regardless of what was going on behind the scenes, I felt on my heart to do what we did. So for the mom to go on the back end and disregard where my heart was at and what I felt like God was telling me to do in that moment and distribute the money how she felt necessary is 100% wrong in my opinion. I see the memes and I see the jokes, but I am not in the business of shutting businesses down. Her actions did not sit right with y'all and her customer base. That resulted in the situation that she in today. We just ate the food and left a tip. Pray in advance that everybody in this situation stays safe. That's my biggest concern. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. Hey guys, so this is part two of the Keith Lee video situation. As you just saw, I posted Keith Lee response to everything that has been going on um, with the Dallas donation situation. I know y'all know about it. I already posted the first video, so y'all know the back, y'all know the front end of the story. So he just said what he said, you know, remember, she needed Keith Lee to say so, even though he said so on the live. It's like really attempting to play in people's face. I'm gonna add her response to the end of this video, but her response really doesn't mean anything. The way I see it at this point, she could keep that thousand dollars. I hope it was worth her business crap to the ground um i hope it was worth all of it you know it it's it was never really that deep and listen i want to know your opinions down below our rewatch gang y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation do you think she was right for trying to keep that thousand dollars do you think that well, $2,000, you know, or do you think that she was dead ass wrong? I'm going to add the remaining of her, I'm going to add her response to the end of this video. And I want y'all to let me know I will not be coming back on the back end. Hi, everyone. I am reaching out to you guys today because uh, my son, he already called uh, or texted however, he got in touch with Sherelle and asked her if she could come pick up the money. From what I hear, she is refusing to get it. So now I am asking, and uh, I'm asking my followers to please tag her and ask, tell her Sweetly Season is asking her to please come pick up their money. 
okay? I am here on Horse Lane in Ardelio Road. Please, and also, if you guys want to come out and support, please, I am here. I'm not going anywhere. All right, thank you.